Hello, Serge here. We're on the back patio at the lodge at the Orange County National Golf Club uh, where we are doing our golf school. This is day two. And it started out really, really, really good. And uh, the first thing I liked was that uh, one of our, our lady that was here got fitted yesterday and, he, and uh, Bill Marshall, the club fitter that we have from Lakeland, built her a six iron. And that six iron was two inches shorter than her lady's six iron that she had in her set and uh, was actually when I checked my club against my six iron against it is now is now one inch shorter but yesterday my, mine was an inch shorter than her and, and it, it worked wonders you, you spent a lot more time working with her and, and I mean all of a sudden now she didn't have noodle arms and she could accelerate the club and exactly. hitting the ball better right absolutely she did yeah you're right uh, shorter clubs are the way to go no question about it especially when you're trying to accelerate the arms through the impact mm -hmm. and that's exactly what she did uh, she got the club through impact and uh, hit a lot of great, a lot and of good golf The best shots. thing was she got the tee finish with the, the hands close to the head, and I mean she was starting to really hit the ball well, and and uh, so. Well, we uh, want to talk about Bill for but, a second, but thank Bill Marshall for his services because we uh, you know, at all our golf schools wherever we go we always have a club fitter. Try to have a club fitter who's certified, uh, you know, with the swing surge, uh, the swing, uh, the, the swing, and uh, so it, uh, it makes it uh, for all the students the opportunity to have their clubs checked. Yeah and uh, they make adjustments. And most of our fitters know to swing. They've actually come and been uh, basically almost certified as teachers and go hung around all day to learn. And, and so that was good. And I guess the, the next best thing was I actually hit her, I actually hit her, her new six iron and, and I like the length better. I've already called Lynn up and told him I want to get another set made an inch shorter than what I got now and see what that does. <laughs> right. Because more vertical, you know, shorter, I can stand closer and get the club a little more upright and I think I can, I can actually uh, swing better. Well, anyways, we put the swing tech up before we started, right. and and we got we had three big guys who turned too much and got in the sacred burial ground, and they couldn't believe where their hands were. Huh? Right. Well, for people who don't know about our swing tech, it's it's our training aid that we endorse. Uh, it's one of the only thing one of, one of the only training aids that we do endorse that in, that promotes the vertical golf swing. Uh, and like you said, we put it up on the wall, we mounted it up. It's very easy to mount, uh, and everyone was just lifting the club nicely. Their hands were in front of them and uh, it works. And all those guys who were sucking it inside in the sacred barrel ground couldn't get there. But the irony was after we did the short game this afternoon, which we'll talk about in a minute, they came back and hit some balls and the, and th the three deep guys were getting a little deep again. And, comes, and as you know, what if you get deep in the sacred barrel ground, what goes around comes around. But now they, were, they're, they're, they weren't as deep, they weren't as bad, but they were still hitting weak, some cuts that were just kind of cutting, not slicing anymore. But as soon as we got them straightened out, showed them that they were sucking it inside, take it straight back and up they started hitting it good that's right and the swing tech will be back on the wall tomorrow for him again yeah we'll start off tomorrow with that but the short game went well we had probably one of the best classes we had 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 in in, in hitting better chips and pitches and and we got them in the bunker and boy i tell you what was that bunker hot with that sun bouncing off and into us and, right. and they wouldn't let me get out of it they kept wanting me to, how do you hit a berry lie at the best one one of them sucked me into hitting a he said how do you hit this buried ball and so i get in there i gave him the whole demo on it and i smacked down and and I mean, they had me back. I had a long way, and I just clobbered this thing. And what it was is about half of the cover of a ball, and it just, just burped out over there. And they got a good laugh at me on that one. But, but uh, then they, then they had me hitting downhill lies out of the bunker, buried lies up under the lip. And I'm saying, boys, man, I mean, uh, I'm starting to feel like a pizza pie. Let me out of here. Right. And so we finally, when we finally got it, we were getting done with that. But the best shot that we've seen of the day, if not the best shot of the year, right. and if not the best shot of all the golf schools we ever had, right. happened where <laughs> we, we took a break in the, for a minute, and, and as we were walking back, a lot of folk, a lot of them had laid their clubs on the ground, right. and it was just two clubs laid side by side, <laughs> and, and, the, and I happened to just turn and see this, but, but one of the guys was walking back, and if you get a wedge like this, and, and with the blade this way, with the, the shaft this way, right. he stepped on it. And I mean, he rang his chimes like I've never seen it rung. <laughs> and I mean, he buckled over, and and I mean, his eyes were popping out. And I and I thought he was have you know he was going to have to you know call a doctor. Right, so luckily, he's a doctor. Yeah, but it's hard to work on himself for that. That's right. And I mean, everybody was rolling on the grass. I mean, it was the best shot of the day. And I mean, I, I think he's got the best shot of the year award oh, for by Swing Surge and Golf School. Absolutely. So the day ended uh, over there pretty good. At least he was able to kind of walk around and and he hit some more balls. And he was the ball really great and I can't wait till tomorrow because we're also going to cut his driver down it's being cut down like two and a half inches I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow but he, he survived and he's he's doing okay and I uh, I guess uh, hit the ball pretty good before when the day ended and uh, we'll see what he does tomorrow that's right but anyways Greg and Don from Orange County National sun still shining at about seven o'clock at night we'll be talking to you all soon